from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top star is police with two boating accidents to investigate. One in Harbor Island, the other in the Capitol. Both on Sunday night, they've left four persons dead. Three of them, two women and a man, died following a two-boat collision in waters near Harbor Island Sunday night. They're saying that a Boston whaler hit another boat around 9 o'clock. There were eight persons on the whaler. They were ejected into the water. Two other women were airlifted to the Capitol for treatment for their injuries. The others treated and discharged. There were three persons on the other boat involved. They were all accounted for. The victims identified as Liana Cartwright, Candace McDonald, and Jay Roberts. Police say the boats were taking people from a birthday party on nearby Man Island. That happened just hours after a jet ski boat collision here in the Capitol. The jet ski rider suffered fatal injuries in that crash on Sunday night. Despite the temporary suspension of the use of the AstraZeneca coronavirus vaccine by a number of European countries due to concerns over blood clotting, local health officials maintain the vaccine is safe and they will continue to use it. They say there's no evidence that the vaccine is causing those blood clots. Meantime, the numbers continue to remain low for the country. 16 cases reported for Sunday over four islands, seven in the capital, seven in Grand Bahama. 17 persons remain in hospital with two in intensive care. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Police Commissioner Rowe confirming that an investigation is underway into that fatal shooting incident here in the capital over the weekend involving an off-duty police officer who says he was attacked by a man with a baseball bat. He suffered a fractured left jaw, cut to his ear, and a fractured hand. And so we want to give respect to him as we, we do this investigation. That will follow the same procedure as we do with any and all of our investigations. The officer involved is in hospital. The commissioner says he's on leave pending the outcome of that investigation. Latest murder reported from Abaco, a man shot and killed in South Abaco Sunday night, the second murder for the island for the year and the 27th for the country. The House busy yesterday, members debating a compendium of finance-related bills, and there's more controversy for Speaker Moultrie. He got into a class for St. Anne's MP Brent Simonet over procedure. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Mostly sunny today. Highs from the upper 70s to low 80s. 79 at Freeport, 82 in the capital, 82 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. The next tide is a higher on 11 this morning. Next low about 5 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business... Looking for a home, lot, or condo? Then pick up a copy of the Tribune's Home Buyer's Guide. Every Monday, your number one source for homes, condos, lots, and home care needs. Open the door to your dream home. Plumbers, electricians, tilers, and contractors. It's the perfect place to advertise your business. Call us today at 502-2356 to book your space in the Bahamas' leading newspaper. The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Tuesday's World News headlines, major concern about the AstraZeneca coronavirus vaccine in Europe following reports of blood clots in some persons who took that vaccine. Several countries have suspended the use of it temporarily pending the outcome of a review of the data. Germany and France, the latest countries to suspend the use. The U.S. continues its mass vaccination program and the number of deaths and hospitalizations in that country continue to come down. Health officials are still wary of the spread of some variants of the virus in that country, though. No movement in that standoff in Myanmar. The military continues its crackdown on protesters, and more people died there yesterday. Tribune's gas tracker prices, Shell 452, SO 452, Rubens $4.52 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Both Buddy Heal and DeAndre Aiden had action in the NBA last night. Aiden on the Suns now 26 and 12 on the season. After a win over Memphis, he had 11 and 9. He
Steele had 23 points for the Kings against Charlotte, but they lost again. Now 15-24 and 24 in the season, headed in the wrong direction. Get the rest of the NBA update in the Tribune Sports. NFL free agency is underway. Find out which teams are active closer to the start of the Major League Baseball regular season. Get the latest info on that and the latest on the March Madness College Basketball Tournament. All in the Tribune Sports Tuesday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.